What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. So great to have you here with me today. This video is going to be super simple, super short. One of the one of the best little things that you can make uh, in a very little amount of time. We're talking about spoon rests. So these spoon rests, it's a super easy, simple thing to make and pretty much anyone can use one in your kitchen. You know, you're cooking and you need a place to set your spoon after you've been stirring stuff, it's dirty. Um, just somewhere you can set, you can throw it in the dishwasher uh, after that. So basically it's just like a little tiny plate with an edge and then it has like a flat spot where the spoon handle would come off. So shout out to RD Ceramics, Ryan Durbin. He uh, makes a ton of these and sells a ton and he did a little how-to on his Instagram and I thought I should do one of those too because I've made these spoon rests a lot in the past. Real quick, March 15th, all of this stuff is going up for sale. We're gonna get clay ready and then we're gonna probably throw a bunch and it's fun because I like to put these spirals in there a lot but you can do tons of different designs in there and then the glaze transfers and the best thing about these is you make them so fast you can make a ton of them. So, all right, let's get some clay ready and do this thing. So for this project, we have buff stoneware from Continental Clay, which is kind of the clay that I've just been using for a long time. Each spoon rest is going to be about a half a pound. So right around eight ounces. All right, we got balls of clay ready. When I'm throwing things that are this small, I don't wedge them up. Like I pretty much only wedge clay up when I do like above one and a half to two pounds, just because I feel like when it's that small, you don't really need to wedge it. You can wedge it on the wheel pretty quick too. It's really important to throw these on bats because what I'll do is I'll just leave them overnight and then they dry and then they just pop off. Not like a cup or a bowl where you can cut it off and then move it. Uh, you really need it to dry on a bat. So get that into a ball, throw that down right in the center. Center it like you normally would. You can cone up and cone down for good measure. If you don't wedge stuff, then it's always good practice to cone up and then cone down. Okay, and then what I like to do for these spoon rests is use this edge of your hand right here. And you see how it kind of like, it kind of forms a little bit of a really shallow V. So it's gonna go deeper here than it is there. So I use that point in there to go right down the top so that it gets lower in the in the middle and then it tapers out at the end. So I have my one hand on here as a guide and then I'll just make sure it's wet enough, go right down in the middle, get it pretty flat. So you can see that's like the shape of my, the edge of my hand right there, right? So then once I get it down to a point where I think that, you know, it's half inch, three quarters of an inch thick right there, then I'll take my finger and finish pulling out until I get to about where I think that's about good right there and I still have a little clay on the edge, right? And then I'll just kind of use my fingers to pull up the edge. I always like to use a sponge just because it holds a little more water so I don't have to keep using water. Do a little pull up there. Then I'll take my sponge, just smooth out the inside. And then now if you're gonna make any design on the inside, like a spiral, you can just do that. And then I knock down the harsh edges. All right, and then now the part that distinguishes it from a plate to a spoon rest is gonna be the little flat part area. And so what I would do is just push down on one side, kind of go, back and forth like that. If you wanna make it a little more pronounced, the edge there, then you can kind of push this up on the sides too. And there you go. And you can play around with if you want it smaller, bigger. That's about it. How long did that take us? Like two minutes? Super, super fast, super easy. You can either wire it off now or what I like to do is just wait till tomorrow and then it'll just pop off and then I'll just trim it a little bit at the end. But that's about it. All right, let's see how fast I can do this one. Cone up, cone down.
go out, make the edge, do a little spiral, and then boom. I think that was literally 25 seconds. Bam. All right, guys, so that's throwing them. And then, I mean, you can be really creative when you get start glazing, but the easiest thing to do for like this would be to do a two different glazed dips. So you dip, you know, this one was winter wood, so I dipped it down and kind of went like this, and that's where you see the little overlap. And then I took midnight rain and dipped it again like that, and then you get this little bit of overlap, which I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? So, super easy. I think that this is one of those items that it's always nice to have a different amount that you sell things. So, you know, if mugs are kind of like the middle point and then you have bigger stuff like big bowls or bigger bases that are a little higher, it's always nice to have that lower, you know, cups are a little lower than mugs and then like little bowls are a little less amount of money like to sell. So, it's a, I always like to have a different amount because you never know what type of customers you're gonna have if you're gonna have customers that are ready to spend 10 bucks or customers that are ready to spend 100. You wanna have different levels of things for all those different types of people. So speaking of sales, all that stuff is for sale March 15th. Check it out. As always, leave me a comment with any videos you guys wanna see. Uh, we have some very exciting things coming. A road trip to North Carolina is coming, doing wood fire, gas fire, gonna be awesome so I've kind of been working a lot behind the scenes on getting ready for that so stay tuned for the channel there's tons of exciting stuff coming I think that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the bell to be notified whenever I post and we'll see you guys in the next video Shh.